What's up YouTube? It's been over a year since I last set the valve lash on my 12 valve Cummins. So I'm going to pop the valve covers off, turn it over to the top dead center, and either make sure they're still in adjustment or adjust them if they aren't. So you're going to want a 7 8 socket and a ratchet to turn over the engine with the alternator nut. You can turn it over from the back, you can do all sorts of stuff. I'm doing this way because it's the most accessible. Then you're going to want a 15 millimeter socket to remove the valve covers and then I'll start turning over the engine. So DeBoss Garage did a great video on the firing order and how you can split it in half and get the cylinder pairs and when one's doing intake, one's doing power, one's doing compression, one's doing exhaust. This is all backwards when you're using the alternator nut because you spin the engine backwards the other way the belt slips. So I'll just give you an example. How you can use this in practice with the alternator. So cylinder 5 intake is down. Normally compression would be after intake, but since we're going backwards, exhaust is next. But when intake is coming back up, that means cylinder 2 will be at top dead center of its compression or power stroke. I don't think it matters, they're both flat on the camshaft. So spinning it over, spinning it over, spinning it over. Cylinder 5, intake is back up starting to go down, so cylinder 2 is ready for its valve lash. Stick your feeler gauge in, yada yada yada, spin the nut, put your offset box wrench on there. Alright, let's see what's next. Cylinder 2, top dead center, means cylinder 6 would be next if we're going backwards. So cylinder 5 exhaust is doing the thing. Let's see what cylinder 1 is doing. Cylinder 1 exhaust is coming back up. And, I mean intake is coming back up. Exhaust just started going down. So that means cylinder 6. Is flat on the cam. Okay. So next is cylinder three, since we're going backwards. You stick your feeler gauges in, adjust that, use a short screwdriver for cylinder six. And then cylinder three, so we're gonna watch cylinder three's companion cylinder four. Its intake is down. Intake coming back up. Exhaust just touching. Let's see, exhaust now, just touching. So cylinder three is ready for its valve lash. Yada, yada, yada. Cylinder five is next. So we're gonna watch its companion cylinder two, which you can notice the intake is down. All right, intake coming back up. Exhaust just making contact. Cylinder five is ready to lash. Both rockers are loose. Next, cylinder one. So we watch its companion, cylinder six. Cylinder six's intake is going down. And exhaust just touching. Cylinder one is loose. Again. Lash the valves on this 10 thou, 20 thou, loosen the nut, adjust the set screw, keep doing it until it's right. Now cylinder 4 is next, so we're going to watch its companion cylinder 3, which as you notice, again, intake is down. Once you get the hang of this, it's really quick and easy to do the valve adjustment. Alright, cylinder 3, coming back up, and cylinder 3 exhaust down a little bit, so cylinder 4. It's ready for the valve lash. That's really loose.
real loose. Uh, okay, next cylinder two, and then I think we'll have covered every cylinder. So cylinder two, you just want to watch cylinder five. Cylinder five's intake is down. And cylinder five exhaust just making contact. So cylinder two is ready to lash. Hope you found that helpful. That's kind of the gist of how to follow the firing order and see which valve is at top dead center, which valve isn't, how to adjust them all. It's kind of the main thing that it takes a little while to get the hang of, but hopefully this video helped you. All right, I've lashed the valves. Just went one by one in the order that I showed you and took a few laps around, you know, double checked every cylinder, triple checked some cylinders, and everything is clearance correctly now. I'm gonna clean everything up, toss the valve covers back on, and then fire her up, let y'all hear how it sounds. Wish I took a before video, but it didn't sound too bad. You know, this is just preventative, but some were way out of work. All right, let's see how she sounds. <laughs> like a 12 valve. So yeah, that's how you adjust the valves on a 12 valve Cummins. There are some other videos out there, but they didn't really do the trick for me. I feel like this one really shows you how to do it. So hope you enjoy. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you like what you saw. And thanks for watching.